Hey, Seven Rivers Wrestling, Nick Ragnar, back here with Cobrana and Cobrana. General Manager Vic Ross just announced that you're in that number one contenders match tonight, and I gotta ask, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are simple. I deserve it. Last time I was here, I took on Jake Classic in the tournament, and he used an illegal maneuver across my throat so I couldn't breathe, so I couldn't be here and continue on as number one contender. So now I'm getting another opportunity to do it, and I promise not to disappoint. Well, I mean, we, like as we said before, we saw you last time. You faced Jay Classic. You looked I'm, – I'm sorry, I got to ask, what's with the snake? I got to ask, what's with the snake? I don't, I don't want to pet the snake. That's fine. What? Let me put it to you this way. She has more respect and more power than you could ever imagine. You see, the icons, what I'm a part of, a whole bigger picture than you will ever understand. <laughs> well, Pinky's raised, boys. That's all you need to know. Well, it's been event time here in Seven Rivers Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, please once again welcome your Seven Rivers Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Superstar. Looks like Superstar Steve, Steve Star is going to make Stardom. his way out here to get a first-hand look at who could be his next number one contender. I mean, it makes perfect sense. I mean, the guy obviously wants to see who he might face for that coveted gold belt he holds over his shoulder. And I mean, he just faced Coyote here tonight. Looks like he's feeling pretty good after his victory. You know, it could be one of four men. It could be Jason Masters, Jason B, Cobrana, or the Lumberjack. All these men are very capable wrestlers. One of these men is going to have the opportunity of a lifetime to step in the ring with Superstar Steve Stark. But they have to go through hell here tonight to get that opportunity. Steve Starm, John with the fans like he usually does. Not a lot of people like him here in Winona. Well, you know, the crazy thing is, if you look around, there's a lot of wrestlers out in the crowd at this present moment. They want to see who's going to bring their A game to become the new number one contender. Steve well, Starm's here title. comes Steve Starm right now. What the hell is he doing over here? I don't know. These guys are in. Yeah, huh. Hey, you listen to me. I've heard these telecasts over and over again. So you know what? Tonight I'm gonna make sure that you do the job right. Alright? This far way is for my title. Yes, we so are. Is this right? So you 
do it right. All right. Hello, broadcast partner. You just pile drove an innocent kid. Oh, you're a better commentator than I thought. Boy, you're the wishing well of information, ain't you? What kind uh, of human being are you, Steve? Uh, I am a human being. That is the Seven Rivers World Heavyweight Champion. What? And you see, the point is, I ain't been doing this for 20 years without making points across to people. That there is a warning to the person that wins this four-way tournament for my championship. You see, we're gonna see who's got the guts to get the job done. All right, let's see who we've got. This is a fatal four-way. Well, we got four guys who definitely are capable of becoming the number one contender tonight. We've got Jason Matthews, Jason O'Brana, and the Lumberjack. Incredible athletes. Jason Masters, what a man. Jason Masters. Had one hell of a ladder match with Jake Classic. That he did. One of these days is gonna have to meet Jake Classic. He won the right to actually challenge you further down the road. That's right. And don't think I've forgotten about Jake Classic either. I know, you I know he's a top. I know he's still waiting in the wings for me somewhere down the road. But right now, tunnel vision. This match is what it's all about. What I need right now is for that music to keep playing. I need you to play it, I need you to turn it up, because coming through that curtain right now is the future number one contender to the Seven Rivers Wrestling Heavyweight title, the blackest man in Minnesota tonight, baby, Jason Tupole Masters. <laughs> Jason Masters with an opportunity here tonight, thanks to the new general manager, Vic the Stick Ross, to be a member of this fatal four-way match. The number one contender is Steve Starnum's heavyweight title. You know, and I've been thinking long and hard. I've had some really good managers over the years. But you know, I've got my eye on Vic the Stick here. Man's an intelligent man. He's smart to the business of professional wrestling. Maybe someday down the road, when I need somebody to handle my finances and my bookings, maybe I'll knock on Vic the Stick's door here. You know what I'm saying? Vic the Stick, the new general manager, anointed by Dallas Parker here tonight. I when when I just think this place could couldn't go any more south. It's it's gone way any south. more south. Well, yeah, I mean we got Alliance Pro running around, jacking people left. Wonderful right. people. Wonderful people. Are you kidding me? Wonderful people, pillars of society. I love them all. As long as they don't come after my belt. <laughs> But now Jason Masters finally gets his music to play. Yeah, this place is just man, total anarchy here tonight. Horse Bar and Grill. Mister, good luck. Good luck. Good luck, Mr. Masters. Good luck. You'll need it. You'll need it. Well, Jason Masters, the master of well, the master kick, that modified super kick that he uses. The man was an eyelash away from winning that ladder match against Jay Classic and straight to the top. You know what? I'm going to interrupt you just for a second here. I'm going to comment just real quick on my match with Mr. Coyote earlier. I don't make reference to individuals very often. And although the man did come after my championship tonight, yes, I did challenge anyone. But I'm going to tell you, I was very impressed with him. You know, he, he, Coyote put on a good showing and it took a butterfly pile driver off the top rope to actually pin the man's shoulders to the mat. One, two, three. I can buy it. Well, coming out next, though, is Jason V, a man you actually wrestled in Galesville, Wisconsin back in December. You know this man very yeah, well. Yeah, it's a very strange, very odd man, I must say. He's definitely a spider for Mars, I can say that much. But definitely, uh... Had his opponent. But don't let the, the look fool you. The friend is Man is very proficient in wrestling Lee holds and maneuvers. A slender 192 pounds. He is the MVP of OMG. The fabulous Jason B. Oh, Jason B. The MVP of OMG. So now he's got a golden opportunity. Talked to him backstage earlier. He says he wants another shot at you, Steve. 
well, he's more than welcome to have another shot at me if, if he can get the job done. And that's what the bottom line is. I don't know, man. I don't know what's coming to And their opponent, being accompanied in the ring by Ms. Fortune, representing the Hollywood icons from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 250 pounds. This is Cobrana. Cobrana coming out with Miss Fortune here tonight, and his snake. We saw Cobrana at the Straight to the Top tournament. He was very impressive. Took Jake Classic to the limit. He came within an eyelash yeah, of Benson in that tournament. You see, I I have a lot of different business interests, and uh, this man I did happen to miss in cash in Wisconsin. Very, very, very interested in seeing what this man's capabilities are. I'll tell you the truth, Steve. I was very impressed with this man. He's got a very unorthodox style of offense. The way he attacks the elbow. I've never seen anyone go about it the way he does. Well, you know what? See, that's why I'm sitting here, because you see, one of the keys to my success is scouting my opponents. Whether they're going to be an opponent or not, I make sure I watch them. Now, this man here, I have a long, long history with. This man and I are no strangers whatsoever. Well, you guys but, know each other very well. That's right. From the Denali National Forest. That's right. At 265 pounds. Lumberjack! Hey, Lumberjack! Well, the hey. Lumberjack and Steve Star are hey, Lumberjack! each other. Hey, you listen here. You better hope. You better get through them three first before you come after this. Yeah, that's right. Well, seriously, the winner of this match will be taking on yeah, our champion, on. Steve Star, next week. And Winona during Steamboat Days. Be a That's right. Steamboat Days, Winona, Minnesota. I love Winona. Winona is a good city for me. I'm undefeated here. I've never been beaten in this city. And I don't plan on being beaten next Sunday, no matter who my opponent is in this four-way. Well, the terrible thing is these four men have had to go through hell here tonight just for the opportunity eight days down the road to get in the ring with you. Well, you know what? When they go through hell tonight, Next Sunday, they got purgatory. <laughs> Is it worth it? Is it worth it, Von Ruden, you to know, climb to the top just to fall all the way back to the bottom again? To get a shot against, I would have to say quite arguably, one of the best pro wrestlers in the business today, the Seven Rivers Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. To get a shot against you, Stardom, he's been willing to risk their careers here tonight in this fatal four-way match just well, to get the opportunity to. Well, that's right, you know. I'm no stranger to championships. I've held 20 of them, and this is my 20th. And I've known over 20 years how hard it is to attain any championship. So I know what these men are going to go through. But like I said, I'm going to sit here and watch very, very closely and see just how bad these guys want it. This is definitely going to be a very chaotic match tonight. Well, you know, I love a little chaos mixed in with things. And we're going to see just what kind of action these men can contribute to and just see what that they can bring to the table. Definitely is a golden opportunity for two guys who aren't regulars here in Seven Rivers Wrestling and both Jason B. and Cole Brown to climb the ladder while you're looking at guys who are on the roster on a steady rate, Lumberjack and Jason Masters, who are no strangers to each other as well. They actually tangled in the straight to the top tournament. But it's gonna be interesting though. Jason V kind yeah. of freaking it's, out a few of the guys in the ring. It's Jason V, this cat. He's a different persona, I tell you. But like I said, don't let the book, don't let him fool you. Man's very proficient, very, very knowledgeable in wrestling holds. I know firsthand. It looks like Jason V and Cole Brown are going to start things out here. Exactly. And again, this is a man I want to take a very, very quick look at. 